It is time to get it on. Bucket horse riding at its best. XIT Concrete Incorporated is where we're going to start it off. In the lead from night number one, the very first cowboy out on the first performance was 85 points. It is Tyler Johnson holding Louisiana. Here we go. Let's do it. Over Louisiana, Cowboy number one, Tyler Johnson. Comes down a little too soon. An eight-second contest is what it is. We're going to show you the leaderboard, Mr. Dave Petty. Can we get that out of you right quick to see where we got to be? 85 is in the lead for sure. Tyler Johnson, <coughs> no score tonight. 77 and a half is going to get you a paycheck. JBS Port is where we're moving to. Waylon Boudoir. Yeah, Church Point, Louisiana. Dream catcher. Is the horse, is this the rowdy side over here on the north, huh? Is this the rowdy? <laughs> I think so. I think we have found them. We have, haven't we? JBS Port is where the bucking shoot is. We're going to check with you folks on the south side, too. I think you're feeling a little wild over there. I, you've been in the shade. Yeah. We'll find out. We're going to find the rowdiest fans tonight. we got some cool prizes for you. Here comes another cowboy from down in the Keys, y'all country. Church Point, Louisiana. Come on, Waylon. Outside, boys, we gotta be 86 on the paint. All the way to the right. Who wants it? Yeah, yes, sir. He wants some money. He wants some money. What a cool spur ride. Beaver, Sagata, Buddy Reynolds, our rodeo officials. You guys will know what the score is at the same time I do. Let's check the big screen. As soon as the numbers are in, 78 and a half, he's in third. Well, maybe fourth, somewhere there. He's in the money. I think 77 and a half was in fourth. That's going to put him right there for a paycheck. Got a really good crack at it. Let's go to Zach Hibbler. Wheeler, Texas, Dusty Street is the horse. Wheeler, Texas, his hometown. He's in the top 25 in the world. He's won 50-some thousand, probably. Zach Hibbler is where we're going to. West Texas Gas is the bucket shoot. 86 points. If you want to be in the driver's seat in the bareback picture. Zach, there's a Texas Cowboy home standard. We'll see if he can be in the mid-80s. Come on, Zach. He's wild and western to say the least right there. Jeepers, creepers. Now the hard part. The legendary pickup man, Rex Bugsby. Mark Nichols, two of the hardest working cowboys, two of the best horsemen in the rodeo. Trying to get this guy to the ground. And Rex sets him down. He's safe inside the 76 and a half. Seventy-six and a half. JBS Pork. We're going back to. Let's move up to J Tate. Goodwill, Oklahoma. Bucking horse riding country. That's right. Jade. Something in the eighties. JBS Pork. It is. J Tate. Goodwill, Oklahoma. Dakota Kid, the horse. Eighty-five is in first, and I believe seventy-eight and a half is in for something in the eighties on the start. The lady saw, yeah, baby. She's clapping. Do your part, kid. Watch your pickup man work. Everybody just watch these guys. Bart has got the rope on this horse. So the cowboy's right-handed. He's on the wrong side of the horse. They're going to have to stand him up. He's going to have to get... Look at there. Now, I don't have a whole lot of time to narrate an entire story for you, but I want you to watch this replay. These guys, they didn't panic. Watch this. They're right in. 
Nobody panic. That was actually Rex. Gets a rope on this horse. But what he did, he didn't stop the horse. He let that cowboy, he checked the horse up, let the cowboy get it back to his seat. He was dragging on his knees. He was a right-handed cowboy that bucked off the left hand, the left hand side of that horse. That put binds in his in his riding glove. It cracked it over the bind of that rigging. That's what hung him on there. Once he got to his feet, he was allowed to get his the break of that wrist over on the right side of that rigging. That's why that cowboy got free was because of this guy right here. How about it for your round pickup man, huh? There you go. Let's go to Chance Sparrow, Coffeeville, Kansas. Here's a horse in a sweet brand bucket shoot spin to qualify. Selected to go to the richest rodeo in the world two different times. The Prefert Rancher. Oh, we're proud of the Prefert Rodeo Ranch equipment. Here's a horse named after Prefert. Two times the NFR. Here's a horse to win it all. Is it going to be enough? That horse making a tiny little circle right in front of the buck and shoots. I thought it was going to work good. But it's got to be an eight second deal, unfortunately, for Chance Merrill. So let's move up to buck and shoot number one. XIT Concrete is where we're going. It is going to be Jake Brown. He's 13th in the world. He's won 60,000 already. Texas A&M grad. That's right. Cleveland, Texas. Jake Brown's his name four times to the Wrangler NFR. He's one of three quarters of a million dollars doing what he's going to do right here for you tonight. That's right. 700 plus. Jake Brown, Cleveland, Texas. Last man, Clayton. This is our final bareback rider before we move to the next event. Jake Brown, as simple as this. You're, I believe, 13th in the world. That's right. He's on a bubble. But there's a lot of rodeo season left to go. It ends on the end of September. For any of you who are wondering, the last day of September is the cutoff to qualify for the $10 million Wrangler NFR. Right now, he's in 13th. For those of you who don't know, they take the top 15 in the world. He's been there four times. Look at that. That was a pretty cool stat. 58,000 miles last year, went over 100 last year. Yeah, pretty cool. Jake Brown, can he pad his pockets? 80 something, Jake, what you need? We like it. When everybody makes the whistle, we do, we do. Jake Brown, Cleveland, Texas. Scores coming in from our rodeo officials. They'll let us know. It is up to them to decide who gets paid and who wins the big dollars. United Supermarket. Query, uh, quality Dairy Construction. And... And a half for Jake Brown. He's in the money at 80 and a half. How about a hand for your bareback riders and these two fellas right here right now at your ramp pickup man? Nice work, guys.